Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Good morning. Well, first of all, I want to thank you, Ken, for throwing me to the wolves here. You know, I've had, I've had lots and lots of jobs and opportunities to work with and for folks from UT and Texas a and Usually it's one-on-one, -on -one, and I can out trash talk them all day long. I'm glad you're up here for to tell you. However, in this room, I don't stand a chance, so I'm just going to start off today with a peace offering and say, yeah, good. So, <laughs> that's all I can do. No, but uh, it's an honor to be here today and, and kick off the event. Um, what I'd like to do is bring up a couple of terms, and I hope you don't think they're overused, but I just want to kind of use this to set the tone. And that's unprecedented challenge and innovation. Innovation is a big part of what I do. Now, like, like Ken said, I've been, I've been out in the real world for 25 years, and 23 of those 25 years have been in project delivery somehow. Or project controls, what I do with Oracle now, uh, pro project management, running projects for Anheuser Bush. But two of those years, I was in competitive intelligence and industry financial an analysis for Anheuser Bush. So my job was to snoop on the other guys. And that's the first time I heard this unprecedented change, an unprecedented challenge. So when I got there, it was pretty easy. You brew some Budweiser, you sell it. You brew 10 times as much Bud Light, you sell it. But then things started to change. We started hearing about, if I click here, we'll get one. Here we go. Unprecedented change driven by demographics. Now this first chart here was, was the one that slapped us in the face. It had to do with baby boomers. Okay, baby boomers were a big part of the growth of beer. And in the mid 2000s, we started to realize they weren't drinking beer anymore because the carbonation didn't sit so well with them. I'm getting a little older, a little, little, little fatter, and I feel it, okay? So we were losing baby boomers. So, so what are we gonna do? Get the, get the pups, get the young folks. I'm trying, I promise. Okay. There we go. Here's the problem there. We couldn't get the young guys either. What were they drinking? Not our Main Street Buzz Bud Light. They're drinking craft beers. Okay? And what else were they drinking? Ashton Kutcher, anybody? PBR, Nag Light. Okay, so where did we turn? What was our response to Anheuser Bush? I'm going to get better at this. It's really cool. It works. <laughs> keep going, you know the story. Go ahead. I do. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Okay, that's great. Innovation. Okay, so from now on, let's do this money bot, money, money ball style. When I point at you guys, just, just yell out innovation. Okay, so what did we do? Bacardi Silver, all those Bacardi dreams, started distributing imports. Mig Ultra, the old crowd, you know, they're trying to be sexy like me. Aluminum bottles, craft beers. Okay, so that was my first lesson in unprecedented challenges lead to innovation. Okay, next slide, please. So then I go over to Ameren. Ameren is regulated utility. In St. Louis, we started Missouri and Illinois, and I heard more unprecedented challenges, this time driven by sustainability. How many of you have sustainability on your mind? Yeah, yeah. It's a big, big deal. So it started off at the residential level. Individuals were seeing the price of solar falling. They were more concerned about the environment. And so it's like, hey, Amber, you're going to lose, you're going to lose load. You know, people are going to go from being consumers to prosumers, which means sometimes they make, sometimes they take. And it wasn't just residential. It was also industrial. So wind and solar, that's in our face every day, right? It was and continues to be a bigger, bigger footprint within within the uh, energy space. Okay, so within when in the in the electric generation world, we were starting to do our part to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Well, what's the number two source of greenhouse gas emissions behind behind power plants? Anybody know? Concrete. Huh? Concrete. Concrete's another good one. Transportation. Okay, let's go to the next slide. So we, we got our house in order, and now, now there's a new focus on transportation electrification. And that presented more challenges for us, which is how do you get the load to, to the EVs, how do you get the infrastructure there, and how do you handle the rate making so everybody wins, particularly people who don't live in your state. Okay, so those are some of the challenges we were facing about seven, eight years ago. So where do we turn? Innovation. Innovation. All right, let's go to the next slide. So we kicked off the Innovation Action Team. I've been doing part of this for a long time. We looked at microgrids, drones, smart smart street lights, uh, EV infrastructure, community solar. All right, so now I'm starting to see a thing. 
So then, then a little over three years ago, I came to Oracle and I said, Oracle Construction and Engineering, I know that stuff. Blocking and tackling, let's go to the next slide. It's fundamentals, right? Safety, cost, schedule, quality. Okay, that doesn't change. I know how to do that. I've been doing that 25 years. Was I right? Nope. Let's go to the next slide. So COVID came along and slapped us in the face. We had big supply chain disruptions, enhanced safety requirements, which meant instead of just keeping people away from the typical hazards of the job, now we had to keep them away from each other. Uh, it also uh, accelerated offsite project delivery. So now we have to enable uh, collaboration from anywhere. And that's on top of our historic challenges with resources, getting skilled craft, getting engineers, project managers, and last but not least, sustainability. So it's not just about emissions, but it's about the supply chain and how much waste and how much how much stuff you consume during the execution of the project. So where do we turn? Innovation. 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 Thank you. Okay. <laughs> let's go to the next slide. So the first thing we did was we thought, let's take a look. Let's assess and digitize processes. Let's integrate them, bring them together for efficiency and that great integrated project delivery we all want. So we turned to CII, Oracle's a member of CII, Construction Industry Institute. Has anybody here heard of that? Okay, there you go. CII it looks after best practices for project delivery. And they're headquartered at a little university up in Austin, okay? So I get to go to UT all the time, that's a lot of fun. So that's the first thing we do, digitize processes to, to, to bring everything together, integrated and, and efficient. Next thing we did, let's go to the next, next one, please, was we expanded our ecosystem. So we would work with the partner network to, to bring in complementary capabilities to bring more data to the market more quickly than we could if we were gonna develop this on our own. And then last but not least, we built an innovation lab right outside Chicago to give folks like yourself an opportunity to come play with all this stuff, okay? So innovation's a recurring theme, all right? So the one thing that, 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 that I wanna suggest here is that there is an unprecedented change in challenges. I think there's just change in challenges. What we all do is hard, you have to adapt, uh, go to the next slide. This is this is from the uh, ASC report card for Texas. Almost every state looks something like this. You know, you guys got big challenges here in Texas. I don't need to tell you that, whether it's scale, complexity, or the cost it takes to strengthen your infrastructure and strengthen your relationships with your customers. You got a lot on your plate. So where am I going to suggest we turn to today? Innovation. Uh, innovation. Okay, let's go to the next one. But today, ladies and gentlemen, let me just, let's go ahead and do another one. Today's not about, you know, cool beer bottles and drones and all that kind of stuff. Instead, let's go to the next one. It's about my favorite definition of, of innovation. This one you see from Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary. It's not based on We can talk people, process technology all day, but we've got a room full of people. Let's take advantage of each other here. Okay, look for an introduction of something new, a new idea, method, or device. Let's go to the next slide. And with that in mind, I want to run through the agenda real fast, cover, co cover a couple of things that kind of, it's, that they jumped out at me. Now, now when I look at the agenda, I see this, this common theme of movement. Today to me feels like it's movement. Let's go ahead and click through. Let's go ahead. So project prioritization, this is my passion right here. Moving funds in the right investment, sustainability and equity, moving investment to the communities in need. I'm not going to read all these to you. Let's go ahead and roll through these. These are these are some of the topics that are going to be covered today. And I encourage everybody to soak this up, learn from each other. This is my eighth time to be part of an Infra Day event and I thoroughly enjoy every single one. So let's go ahead and give you three clicks there. There you go. So I just want to close by saying, have a great day and try to move some new ideas from this room back here, back to the companies and, and business. Thank you very much and have a great day.